Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, and this is our small group for today. Um, oh, first off, thank you for coming. And second off, are you ready to work really hard? Awesome. Okay, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with some letters, and then we're going to do some counting and some syllable practice, uh, our tracing sheets, and talk about why that's important. And then we're going to end with a read aloud. Let's get into it. So I spilled some letters that we've been working on this week. We've been working on two, or reviewing two different letters. And so this is the letter G. Remember the capital G is that almost closed circle, but not quite. Oh, this one's a little bit kind of close. Yeah, let me show you a different one. There we go. This G is better. And then the lowercase G. And the G usually says J, like giant or or sorry, it usually says gut, like guitar, goat, but it can say jut. It's a tricky letter. So it also has two sounds, g and j. And then we have our letter, the first letter of the alphabet, the letter A that's in a lot of your names, um, like Andres and um, Zahara, you have three A's in your name. James, you have an A. Langston, you have an A. Sade, you have an A. We just have lots of Jack. Um, we have lots of uh, people who have the letter A in their name. So it's super important that we know all the letters, but A is definitely one that's in a lot of words, including our names. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen with you. And today I dumped out a couple letters and I want us to do that big math word called estimate, where we take a look and we think, we just are gonna think what, or how many letters do you think Miss Michelle has here? Hmm, so I know that it's more than one, I can tell that, but it's not quite 10. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna estimate or guess four. Um, you go ahead and make your estimate and then we're gonna go ahead and count them. And here we go, ready? We start at one, one, two, three, four, five. Today we have five. I was very close with my estimate. I said five, or I said four, but there's five. Okay, so let's go ahead and one more time, just count to make sure we like to double count. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how did we get there? How many A's do we have? It could be uppercase or lowercase. Let's count the A's. One, two. So we had two A's. And how many G's, lowercase or uppercase? One, two, three G's. And if I put those together, two, and add three to that, we get five. So we have five letters today, two A's, plus three G's gives us five letters. Excellent. Go ahead and kiss your brains and I'm gonna erase my work since I'm using my handy dandy um, vinyl sheet. And if uh, you use that, make sure that you erase it as well. Excellent job, kiss your brains. Wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna go right into our letters since I have them here already. So again, this is our letter G. G has two sounds. G can say J and G can say G. Two sounds, G, J. If when I show you one of these pictures that's hidden underneath my letter G, if you can hear the G or J sound in the very beginning, that first sound that comes out of my mouth. So you're gonna to have to listen really close. Listen for that first sound. If you hear a J or a G, then you're gonna give me a thumbs up. If you don't hear a J or a G, you're gonna be like, no, no, no. And I'm gonna cover up so that you guys don't cheat. Here we go. Do we hear G or J when I say goldfish? G, 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 goldfish. Did you hear a J or a G? G, G, G. I see your thumbs up. You're right. Goldfish begins with the letter G. It does have the G sound in front of it. So we would write it G O L D F I S H. Okay. What is this critter here? This is a G, G, goat, a goat. Do you hear the G 
or j sound when I say goat. If you do, give me a thumbs up for G. If you don't hear a g or a j, thumbs down or no, no, no. G, g, goat. <gasps> You're right. I heard the g sound when I said goat. G, g, goat. Goat begins with the letter G. Kiss your brains for that. Okay, I don't have to hide this one. How about this guy? This guy has sharp teeth and he is an alligator. Do you hear the g or j sound in the beginning of alligator? I didn't hear it in the very beginning. No, alligator starts with a different letter, the letter A, because a, 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 alligator and A make that A sound. Okay. How about these? This is something that you might get for your birthday or Valentine's Day or some other thing. This is a g g gift. Do you hear the G sound when I say g g gift? If you don't, go no, no, no. G says g or j. G g g gift. I did hear it. Gift does begin with a G. And here's one more that does g g g tar. G says G, G says J. Oh my goodness, that was fun. And you did a great job with the letter G. Now, can I ask that sometime today you continue to write your letter G's, practicing that we almost make a circle, but don't close it. And then we close the gate in the middle. And then we say, good night. Excellent. And um, during our morning meeting yesterday, we worked on this letter, which was the letter A. And remember that we said um, down to the left, down to the right, close in the middle, good night. And so we do those slant lines to the left, jump back up to the top, slant lines to the right, and then close it in the middle. And James, your grown up sent me a picture of you making so many amazing A's. I was so proud of you. Um, so the more we practice our letter A's or our letter G's or our letters, the better we become, the better writers that we become. Okay. I'm gonna move these over here and I wanna do a little rhyme time. Now remember, last week we became little teapots and this week we became teddy bears. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say the teddy bear song and I'm gonna make my teddy bear do the movements that I say as I listen to the rhymes. And I want you guys to become teddy bears and you do what the teddy bear does. Okay, ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the, you're right, ground. And you knew that because you knew that around and ground rhyme. They have the same ending, good job. Okay, teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the, Sky, you're right, because they rhyme high and sky. And that's how we know to do the next moves. One more. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jog in place. Teddy bear, teddy bear, blast off to space, because place and space rhyme. Excellent job being teddy bears today. So proud of you. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into our next thing, which is, here they are. These are activities from your learning kit. So you can grab them now, um, or you can do this after I'm done, we're done with our meeting. So you have this book, and I think it has a front cover on it. But inside the book, there you'll see the numbers, and you'll see hearts. Um, and so I'm going to share my screen so that you can see it a little clearer. And I'm gonna use my pink marker because I think of Valentine's Day and hearts are pink or red. And so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this book. And Zoe, I know that your um, grown up sent me you coloring it. So Zoe spent time 
really working out her hand muscles and coloring the pretty hearts. Um, and I loved seeing that. And you can also do something else with this. So this, these dotted lines down here help you practice writing the number one. So you can go ahead and you can follow along those dotted lines saying one. That way we know how to write the number one. And we write numbers and letters the same way. We always start at the top. So we can say, where do we start our letters and numbers at the top? Oh, where do we start our letters and our numbers at the top? <laughs> if you want to start a letter or a number, then you better, better, better. You better start your letters or numbers at the top. So you can go ahead and you can practice copying all of the, the numbers in your book. Um, and you can keep these books forever. You don't have to give them back to me on Friday. Um, and so if you don't finish it this week, you can pick it up and do it again next week. So I gave you all bags with beads in it. Miss Michelle has lots of beads. I don't have a bag. But what I want you to practice doing is counting out whatever number is on this page. That's how many beads you're gonna put in here. And if you lost your beads or can't find them, you can also just draw however many things that this page says. So this is the number one. So if I'm using my beads and I'm counting, what number do we always start with? One. Done. I named this bead one. And now I'm done. If I didn't have a bead, I could maybe just draw a dot, one dot. So is there one dot that matches my one out here? Yes, there is. If I flip, say to the middle, let's just do this one. Again, I can and you can, you can color your hearts using any crayons or markers that you have. That really helps um, if you use your hand your pinching fingers and then put those fingers underneath, you're really gonna strengthen your hands. It's like giving them a little workout. One, two, three, four, just kidding. And so you can um, trace the heart if you would like, and you can also trace the number five starting at the top. But when you use your beads or your dots, remember every one of these, we're giving them a number name. And so we wanna stop when we get to this number. We wanna stop at five. So I'm gonna name this bead one, two, three, four, five. Stop, since this is the number five, I don't wanna add any more because I wanna stop when I say this number. One, two, three, four, five. And so that's five beads. So I do want you to really practice um, your um, counting. It's so important. And um, that's a super, super important skill. Excellent. I'm going to skip the syllables today, even though I said we were going to, and we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, but I do want to point out this Valentine sheet with you. So this is tracing. And tracing is really important because again, it gives our hands a workout and we need our hands to be strong, to draw and to write. So if you have this in your learning kit, you can pause me and go get it now and do it with me. Or you can do it sometime today um, whenever you have some time. So how this works is again, I'm gonna pick any type of thing that I wanna write with. I'm gonna stick with my pink marker. And remember you hold it close to the tip and you pinch with your alligator fingers. So you pinch close and then these other fingers go underneath to give it, to hold it. So see that? And that's really important because we don't wanna be holding our pencils like this because that's not gonna give our fingers the workout that they need. We really need to do our pinching fingers and put our fingers underneath. Now, I wanna try to get in between these lines. I don't wanna touch these lines. We'll pretend they'll zap me. So if I'm going really, oh, I went too fast and look what happened. My line went outside of the line. So I need to slow down and I need to try to really, I don't have to like squeeze hard, but I need to really think hard about keeping my marker down but trying not to touch those black lines. And it gets a little harder. Oh, this is gonna be a loop-de-loop. -loop. And I'm gonna really go slow and I'm thinking about it. And if I touch it, that's okay. I'm gonna just get right back on track 
and keep it moving. Wow, look at that, that was fun. Now this one looks really challenging, so I really have to get my thinking brain on. So I'm gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, dip. What happened? Oh, I started just to go too fast. I need to slow back down. So I'm gonna jump back on inside and I'm gonna keep it moving. And I forgot to tell you that you can put that inside and you, to begin with, and then you can use the sheet over and over again and erase it. But I can still do that. I can just get a different color. And later on, if I'm like, I need to practice my lines, I can just write right over top of my other, um, my other lines. Excellent. That's so much fun. And that really does give your hand a great workout and your brain a great workout. And it, it's giving us those skills to become great writers. Oh, that was awesome. Definitely give yourselves two thumbs up and dancing thumbs. <laughs> Sometimes we say, um, and you'll hear me say, I'll say, let's do a smarty pants dance. And this is my smarty pants dance. I put my smarty pants fingers up and I go, smarty pants dance, smarty pants dance, smarty pants dance, smarty pants dance. And that reminds me that I am smart and you are smart and you're working really hard and I'm so proud of you. Okay, we're gonna end today's small group with a book that's inside your learning kit. And Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't know why, Miss Michelle just almost cried. I don't know why. Um, I, see, oh, I love, I love Valentine's Day. Miss Michelle, me, Miss Michelle and Mr. Williams, we have really big hearts and we just love showing love and spreading love. And so I guess anytime I talk about love and kindness and happiness, it makes me almost want to cry happy tears. Have you ever cried happy tears? So when I see this book, I'm thinking of love and I'm thinking of how much I just absolutely love you all. So let's go ahead. And if you want to read it with me, go grab your book so that you can point to the words too, since you're getting so good at that. And if not, I just need you to find a comfy space, looking eyes, listening ears, nor thinking brains all. Okay, let's read this book about love. And Friday is Valentine's Day. And if you don't do Valentine's Day, that's okay. But Valentine's Day is just a, a day to really remember love. And again, it's, I think it's my favorite holiday, actually. It really is my favorite holiday. Okay, so this book, we're gonna, first off, remember there's a front cover. And then there's the back. This back is blank. And sometimes as we're reading books, there's numbers to tell us which page to read first. Remember, we go from the front to the back, but this one doesn't have page numbers. Um, but the first thing we want to look at is the title and the illustrations. And that'll tell me what this book is about. So let's look at the title first, the title or the words or word, but this one is two words in the title. And I know that because of this blank space, if I was going to point to the blank space, it would be that space that's between the words. So here's one word. Here's the second word. This one's a little smaller. This one has more letters in it. And the title is I love dot, dot, dot. So I think this book's going to be about things that whoever wrote this book loves, and maybe you love the same things. And I see this, this guy's name is Cupid. And Cupid is, um, we think of him on Valentine's Day, because we pretend that he has like magical arrows that he can shoot at people that don't hurt people, but they spread love to people. And so you're going to see Cupid holding his heart balloons. And maybe it's things that Cupid loves. I don't know. Okay, so as we read, remember we read from the top of the page to the bottom and from left, from the left of the page to the right and we tap under each of the words, okay? I love cupcakes. What do you love? Oh, and I see that, um, that question mark. That means it's a question. So I need to raise my voice like a question. What do you love? <gasps> And I do see the cupcake. And if you want, I forgot to mention this. Um, I know Miley, you color all of your books. You can just color your book too afterwards too. Do you love cupcakes? Miss Michelle loves cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, let's look at that illustration, which is just a fancy word for picture. Those look like candies. Let's see. 
I love candy. What do you love? There's that question mark again. Do you love candy? I do, especially chocolate. Okay, I see some hearts here. Do you see the hearts? I love hearts. What do you love? <gasps> do you love hearts? And I just wanted to point out, sometimes if we look at the illustrations, which is a fancy word for pictures, it'll help me with my reading. So I saw hearts on this page. So when I got to this word, and I know that H says, I had a feeling this was going to say hearts, arts, and it does. So sometimes the picture helps me read um, the words. Do you know what that is? That's a gift or a present. Let's see if the words talk about this gift or present. I love presents. It does. What do you love? Do you love getting presents? My favorite presents are sloth presents. What are your favorite presents? Okay, I see two kids. I think they might be friends. Let's see. I love my friends. The illustration, which is just a fancy word for picture, helped me read that word. What do you love? Hmm, do you love your friends? I know I do. You're all, um, I love you all too. You're my friends too. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're holding books. Do you think that the words might have the word book in it? Let's see. I love b b books. It does. What do you love? Do you love books? Wow. I really hope that you do. Look at all my books that I've collected. And I actually have another bookshelf over here. I don't know if I can show you. You can kind of see some of them down there. I have so many books. I love books. And I hope you do too. Okay, friends, and the back cover is empty, so we're going to stop the book there. Wow. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and I hope that you go to your learning kits and you find all of those fun activities and go ahead and work on them and ask your grown-up to send them to me. I love seeing your work. Um, okay, friends, I love you so much. Let's get our goodbye hands ready. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. And if you haven't already listened to Mr. Williams um, read our read aloud of today, um, I think it's Daddy, What Will I Do? It's a great read aloud. And don't worry, if, you're, if you don't have a daddy or a dad at home, that's okay. You could think of any grown up talking to you about this story. Miss Michelle, I don't have a dad. And so it's, o it's okay if you don't either, you can still enjoy the book. Just think of a great grown up asking you that question, like me. Um, I, I know you guys are gonna do some great things. Okay, friends, I love you. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.